in this video I'll be showing you how I made this topper for my little spring journal that has I believe some rabbits in it already Let me have a look oh look a few few pages from Beatrix Potter in here mainly the cats so to say thank you to all of you for all your support I am giving you a free digital download today of bunnies Easter bunnies so maybe you can have a go and make one for yourself so don't forget to go down into the description box and click the link and you can download this one okay so I've popped my fabric my backing fabric into there and I'm gonna cut my bunny out of this so I'm just gonna pop this on and pin it down and just cut round it I'm sure you've all done this before but this is the first time I've done it so we will see what happens and I thought I'd have a nice little pink bunny why not let's just take some of that off I'm just gonna cut round it and stitch it down like that I was gonna applique it but I think it's gonna be too fussy um, let me just put another pin in. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. And I don't want to be... I don't want to be making it more complicated. If you're just doing like, you know, an Easter egg shape, it's probably easier. Oh, there we go. Right, hopefully I can cut round this now. Just all the way round the edge. Okay, I hope that's going to work. Let's put my pins away. I'll put the lid on just in case we have a little visitor. Turn that over. Yeah, I thought pins might do that. So there's my bunny. <laughs> so cute. And I'm going to put him onto here and stitch him down. So I think I might need something else. And I am thinking about putting some Easter eggs or some flowers or something on there. So I, I have got some more fabrics out just, just in case. Right. Okay, you sit over there. So do, does he want something underneath? Does he? I think he might. Maybe some grass. Maybe I can put that on after. I do have my needle threaded. Let's just start stitching because that's what you came for. Not my rabbiting on. So I'm going to do like a um, buttonhole stitch around, around the edge. Am I or am I going to do a slip stitch? Hmm. I think buttonhole would be nice, but it might take a little while. I've started on the wrong side. But I think it'll look neater. Let's have a go. So I'm coming up. Yeah, I should have gone that way. I'm going to hold it. There we go. Now we're off. Now we're off. It's just a case of getting in the right angle. You stay down. I could have basted this down, but <laughs> but I didn't. Um, oh. So down. Hopefully. You can see where I'm going. And I'm going to go all the way round like this. Just pull that gently. I don't want to pull it too hard. What have I done? Oh, I've made a loop. What a surprise.
There we go. That's all fixed. Down through the fabric. I've got quite a big needle because I've got three strands on here. I'm not quite sure what I thought I was going to be stitching. Do you think it looks too bulky? I'm not sure. It's definitely a bit of a loud ping every time I go down. <laughs> it's always never a good sign, is it? it? means it's fighting against the fabric, I guess. Should we stop and have a look? Oh, it's not bad. I quite like it. Down. I'm sorry about the state of my hands. I have just been outside cleaning my caravan. Uh, because we are going to sell her. We now have the camper. We have no need for Daisy. And while it's very sad, I do think that you know, she's got years left in her yet and she can go to somebody else who will love her as much as we did. The camper's so much easier. But yeah, so I've been washing all the outside and my hands are a bit, a bit dry. And yes, I should have put cream on before I started, but... But I was like, I'm going to clean the caravan and then I'm going to do my stitching. And I was so keen to get in here and stitching. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to clean my hands. But I will do that. So, yeah, sorry about my hands. I know it's the only bit you see. They should be nice. Just concentrate on the stitching. <laughs> Concentrate on the stitching, not the fingers. Oh, this is just, this is just lovely. I like doing this. I'm sure there's different ways, but I, I do find that this buttonhole stitch is quite a good one for, like, around the edge of things. I think I went a bit too close there to the edge. This is like giving the impression of, of fur, I believe. I don't know what you think. I think I've wrinkled it. I think I've got a wrinkled bunny. Have I got a wrinkled bunny? Or will I be able to get him flat, do you think? I don't want a wrinkled bunny. Oh, come on. And we'll hold me loop away. Try and keep it flat. I could actually put some padding in it. That might be quite cool. Ooh. See, now I hadn't thought of that till now. Maybe I'll get a little bit of my, my padding and put it in. Or my oats. I've used them before for padding. In my heart. Let's just go right there and tuck that in. Oh, I'm loving it. Right. I'm going to go around the rest of it because I want to show you what else I'm doing. And this is just going to be, you know, repetitive. And I'll probably run out of things to talk about. before I get to the end. <laughs> so, so far, there he is. And I will be back. I'll come round to sort of here and then I'll decide, I'll come back and show you if I'm, if I'm gonna stuff him or not. I'll have made a decision by the time I get round there. And no, I decided not to stuff him. He looks he looks quite cute like that. But I've got to put his tail on. And I've got this... I don't know what this is. It's like fluffy. And I'm going to do a little heart-shaped tail like that. Because <laughs> it's so cute. Little fat tail. Hello. 
Yes, I know. I've put stuff on your bed again, haven't I? That's the stuffing that I was going to use. <laughs> bit of an old pillow. Oh, that's miles too big. Right, cut it down a bit. Right shape, just too big. Just a bit of fiddling around. And I've decided I'm going to make some flowers. Is that still... No, do you know what? It can be big. It can be big because that's lovely. Right, I need my white cotton. Which obviously I haven't got ready because I'm a bit... A bit... Flummoxed today. Flummoxed. I don't know what's the matter with me. Come on, go through. I can't need a needle for the just a red cotton, surely. Obviously, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh dear. I need I need a needle threader to thread the needle threader. This is why you never see me doing this bit. <laughs> I can't just pull it out again. Ah, ugh. Right. Yes, Snowbell. What would you like? You have dinner downstairs. Are you not eating it? Do you not like it? No? What would you like instead? Hmm? Nothing? You funny little thing. I don't know. We'll be on that catkin soon. You know, the one they keep advertising. And I'm going to do a little slip stitch, hopefully invisible, around the edge of this one. I hope. Let me, I'm going to come up really close. Oh, actually, I think I've come up in it. So, there we go. I'm doing some sort of stitch. <laughs> sure what it is <laughs> well we're just gonna we're just gonna tack this down and this is his little little fluffy tail oh he's so cute and i've just got to embellish it now around the outside i was gonna do easter eggs but i don't think i can draw an egg what i should have done is put some eggs on the printable so that i could cut them out what? What is going on with my cotton? Okay, let's just make that longer. Yeah, yeah. I decided it was it was looking quite nice, not stuffed. I mean, I could do Easter eggs and stuff them, but I don't really know how to do that. So. We're going to stick to doing some flowers, maybe. And you've seen me do that before. I was hoping to get this done in one video. I don't know how long it is. Shouldn't be too long, because I only did halfway around there, didn't I? It just feels like a long time, because I've been stitching for ages. Oh, and I did my usual trick, you know where I fold it over and stitch through it. <laughs> and so I've had to cut the corner off. I'm hoping that that's not going to be where I need, you know, for my cover. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, I don't know what sort of stitch this is. I'm just... <laughs> don't you catch. Don't you catch either. I've already caught you once. Just catching it and holding it down. Obviously, it's got to be quite tight on because this is... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. This is... Caught the... Come on out. Occupational hazard with me, this stitching 
on a hoop. I'm always catching the bit behind. Any of you experienced hoop stitches? If you could tell me how I stop doing that, that would be really helpful. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a way. So that you don't do that. I oh, know. Be more careful where I'm stitching. I know that bit. But I just do it all the time. The little fluffy tail. I was going to do like cotton wool. But the little heart is so cute. And was pretty much the whole reason why I was doing this one. Oh, bye. You're cute too. <laughs> She's gone. Gone. She doesn't jump off the desk anymore. She goes all the way round because obviously you know she's she's getting old she doesn't want to go jumping about which is quite funny because she used to she used to be able to jump from the windowsill to the bed she doesn't go on the windowsill anymore it's funny when old age just catches up with everybody whether you're a, a human or a cat my back nope yeah, it catches up to us all. I think I'm back. Okay, so now all we've got to do is make some pretty flowers. And I did practice some flowers. Do you remember this one I was making? I did some more. So I've done some, I'd finished those butterflies off. And I made some more flowers here. I quite like this one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to stamp and then do some flowers or I might stick to putting fabric down and then, you know, cutting fabric out. So what I'm going to do is that cut fabric out and stick it down. Because I did a lot of stitching in Sally's garden, if you haven't seen that. That was a lot of stitches. I loved it all. Then I was seeing everybody else's gardens and, and they use fabric. And I'm like, oh, I should have done some of that. I should have mixed it up a bit. But you learn. This is this is how we do it, isn't it? We all copy and learn and get inspired. Oh, look, I've made a right mess. And so these are going to be a couple of flowers over here. And I might do some more. We'll see how they go. And I'm going to do some petals. Petals? Petals? I've come from London now. Petals. <laughs> so I'm going to do some... What shape should we do? Not too big? Like ear shapes. <laughs> I don't want ear shapes. I don't want them. They're funny though. Um, maybe just not quite as round as those. Oh my goodness. I wish I knew what I was doing. Because that would be super cool. What about like that? Something like that. What do you think? Answers on a postcard or in the comments. Oops, round we go. Yes, nose, I know. You don't like the gourmet, I get it. Okay, I know. I don't know. How many cats turn their nose up at gourmet cat food? I thought it was supposed to be quite good. She used to love it. She did. That's why I bought it. That's why I've got a box of it. And I know that many of you will sympathise because you have cats that do this. Oh, I really like that food. Get me some more. And you buy a big box and then they go, eh, I was only joking. I don't want any of that. Get me something different. <laughs> oh, I think this petal might be a bit big. 
So, yeah, we're basically going to cut these out like this. Very fiddly job. And maybe one more for that flower. Let's move that flower out. Maybe one at a time. And I'm not going to be worried too much. I've made a real mess on my mat now. <laughs> I've got I've got all these bits. Oh, they stick, don't they, sometimes? Right. So there's a nice, pretty flower. And I've already threaded my needles, obviously, because I like to save time for you. I'm going to put that over there so I don't lose it. Right. Are you all going to stay there or are you going to move? Because what I want to do is just a French knot. Because, you know, French knots, the answer to a lot. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'm loving a French knot. They're very versatile. I'm going to try and come up. I've only got one strand. Mm, probably need more than that. Let, oh, after I've done all that, I'm going to swap to the one that I've got more strands on. I was going to use the thinner one. Oh, look at all this. Right, this has got quite a lot. This might be too thick, but we'll see. We'll have a look. Right, I've tipped them all off now. I really should put the yellow one on first. Oh, right. Oh, oh, I've got these as well. I could just put them on as well. Right, where's my yellow? There's the yellow. Right. Make, leave room for my <laughs> tricky moving. So what I'm going to do with the yellow is is just do like a little star because this is the centre, and I'm just going to go round like this. I don't know what stitch this is either. A star stitch. Ooh, that's a nice petal. I should have left it all sprinkled. Crunkled up. Crunkled. Oh, come off. Crunkled is a really cool word. Like that. Um, and I'm going I might as well do the other one. Where's the other yellow one? Um I put him down here a bit. Very dangerously close to the edge. And yes, I know I'm stretching it across, but you're not gonna see that once it's down on my book. Could have just gone across from one side to the other, couldn't I? I could. I didn't, but I could. Right, now I'll finish it off. Um, let's do this one. I can do the other one in a minute. Um, I can't tell which way up they're supposed to be now. Up in the centre. And I'm just going to do that. Because it obviously doesn't want to go through. I've got quite a thick needle because I've got loads of threads. I'm going to do a French knot. And go back down. Hold that tight. Down we go. Oh, look at 
Look at that. <laughs> right, where's the next one going? No, Snowbell. I'm stitching. Oh, my goodness. Things are flying. They're very little. I think... I think you can see how small these are. Don't worry, I'm not going to do it all because that will take... This will take me all night. I may take this one down and do a bit in front of the TV. Right, where's where's the next one going? Oh, I'm loving these. Yeah, aren't they good, Snows? Pretty, aren't they? No, you don't like them. No accounting for taste. And through, make sure. Oh no, Carol. <sighs> Undo it. Start again. Undo the loop. See, you've done it again. Nobody told me. Nobody told me. Right, be careful. Okay. Must be an easier way to do this. <laughs> it won't go on. Ow. Ow. Oh, that's way... That's breaking. Maybe it's too small. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, 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 we're knotting. We're knotting. Okay, come up here. I should probably not do it that way. Oh, it's just this one. I think it's a bit too small. I may have to cut some more. But I'm loving how this is turning out. I don't know. I might cut out some flowers as well. Oh. No, come on. <laughs> right, stay there. It's all just fun, guys. Just enjoy it. They're very weird shaped petals. No, don't go through that first. Come up here first. Right there. Then go through. But, you know, petals can be very strange shapes out there in the wild. They're not always perfectly straight, are they? Or perfectly round? Not straight. I think that's quite pretty. <laughs> Right, so I am going to do another one. Oh, how pretty is that? And of course, I've got to do my stalks, which obviously I will do in stem stitch. <laughs> because God, I love some stem stitch. Right, so I've got to do the others on the other one now. So I'll be back. I'll just quickly do that. Okay, so I've finished my flowers. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. And I'm going to do a stem stitch up here. But I did see Marion on Marion's World do a different type of stem stitch. And I've just had a little practice and I don't think it's perfect, but I'm going to I'm going to do it again. 
and see if I'll get any better. So she did like the ordinary stem stitch and then she sort of looped. So I'm going to try. I may have to go back and watch the video again because I don't know if I've got it quite right. I think you have to do two stitches before you got going. So I'll just do that. And then she looped the thread underneath like this twice catching the stitches underneath so if you want to see you know how she did it properly then <laughs> you know you i'll link her channel underneath she's done loads of new stitches that i've never even heard of and there's a there was a daisy one in the same video using two different colored threads and i thought that looked really cool but i haven't tried that one yet either so I hope I'm going through the right place. But it makes it even more of a rope, if you see what I mean. Like like this, rather than my normal one. I don't know. We will see if I can do it. I don't know where to put my thread. See, I've got quite a big loop there, and I don't think I'm supposed to have that. No, you see, I'm getting, I'm getting knots, and I don't think I'm supposed to get knots. Marion, if you're watching, can you... <laughs> I'm going to be back. I'm coming back to have another go. Because I just watched it. And the trouble is, if you just watch and you don't stitch at the same time, it doesn't actually sink in to me. I need to actually physically do it maybe i'm not going back far enough i thought it was this stitch that i'll go back into now it might be the one before i don't know it just looks like very knotty which which is fine you know i'm not i'm not averse to a few knots but I don't think I'm supposed to be having gaps like that. I'm going to go through there. <laughs> Any of you who've done this, please let me know if I'm doing it right. Maybe I shouldn't be pulling it up. Maybe I should be pulling it that way. I know I've got to keep that over that side. I'm going to go around there. And then again through. I've started, so I'll finish. Maybe I'll just do one knot. I don't think I'm very good at that. And it can be thinner towards the top, can't it? Yeah, more practice required. Like most stitches, you've got to keep practicing them. Haven't you? Oh, hello. You had enough. She said, I've listened to you waffle on for the last half an hour. She says, I've had enough. I'm going for some peace and quiet. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm attached. Nose, nose. I'm here. You've just left me. I'm really not sure what that meow is. Um, through there, I think. Oh, I'm looping on everything now. Okay, right. I'm going to just stop that there. So I'm going to go down. Well, not perfect, I don't think. But, you know, I've had a go. That's the main thing, isn't it? I might do a leaf. Little, just a little, um, what do you call it? Lazy daisy leaf. Because they look weird without a leaf on them. Uh, down, up. Go, I've forgotten how to do that now. <laughs> just 
just a little one. No, oh, that didn't work either. I've just made a knot, haven't I? I've forgotten how to do that now as well. Oh my goodness, come back. Let's do that again. Wreath red. Okay. So just just a little one. I don't want a massive big one. There's not a lot of room. And I'm now slightly worrying that I'm not going to be able to fit this on my cover. But I think we'll be alright. I do one over here. Just a little teeny tiny. It's very hard with the hoop. Because <laughs> I'm right near the edge. I don't know why I keep going near the edge. Have I done that right? Oh, I think so. I've got a lot of threads here. Right, I need to finish because I'm very aware that I've been stitching for a long time. I'll do one more and then I'm going to finish it off and come back and show you. Well, you'll see it at the beginning. I don't know what else I'm going to do. And I think, I don't know. I don't know whether to just keep it simple because the, my book is quite simple. So I might take it off and see if I can make it fit. Okay, so let's just take it off the hoop. Now I know I've got to iron it, but I'm just hoping that this is going to fit on. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Because what I need to do is sort of central it like this. Oh, it's quite cute. So I might back it. I like it, it's quite cute. As you can tell, I did do a little bit more. I did some feather stitching and a bit of grass and I did put Easter as a title for my little book. And I know this looks wonky, but it's because my rabbit is wonky on the front. And when I put it on, it's not. So I'm gonna turn my edges and cut around Hopefully it will keep me straight and I don't need this much excess fabric just to wrap around my bit of interfacing. It's the only thing I can think what it is. It's like a cotton, thick cotton. I'll just trim my corners just to take away the extra bulk. Oh, that one might be a bit tight. Oops. Right, so let's start the side that I was going to start. And maybe we'll start in the corner by folding our corner to get a nice neat corner. That's not going to be neat. Tuck that in. Oh my goodness, come on. I should have left the long, should have left them long. Fold. It's going to be, it's going to be a bit neat. Not a lot neat, just a bit neat. And what I want to do is just stitch around the edge. For two reasons. One, I don't want to glue it because, you know, this is a stitching channel. <laughs> So I'm stitching and also I could just have run it through my machine but you know where's the fun in that it is fun but you know it's much nicer to do this and my machine is playing up and I didn't want to spoil all my hard work by you know messing it up with my with my machine which just needs to be 
it needs a bit of TLC. I need to clean it out. I need to get the tension working right and all that sort of stuff. And I can't complain because, you know, I've had it for ages and it just keeps going. It will stitch through pretty much everything I want it to stitch through. And I can't even remember the last time I changed the needle. <laughs> I know. It just keeps going on paper, fabric, you know. All sorts I've put through that machine. And it just glue. I've, I've put stuff through while it still had glue in it. And I just peel the glue off the needle and she's good to go again. It's amazing. Amazing. So let's stick that down there. Yeah, I should have left the corners. Rookie error. So let's fold this down very very tricky maneuver now fold i want a nice neat edge that's pretty neat it's pretty neat um, i'm gonna have a look in a minute and see what it looks like on the other side okay what do we think oh i like it it's not, I didn't want a completely contrasting colour. So we're just going to carry on round. And as you can see, I have pinned it on because it was a bit, bit fidgety. And because it wasn't exactly square, <laughs> it, was, it was a bit tricky. But, you know, we're all a bit wonky. Oh, have I got that? But this just gives it another, you know, a bit of bit of padding. And I, I, it'll just make the cover just look really sweet. I don't know what I'm going to use the journal for yet, but I just wanted to make something for Easter. And I thought, oh, I do have a blank journal that needs a cover. There we go. And it just happened to be all the springy colours. So I'll think of something to use it for. I've got a, f I've got a few that I've got lined up ready to use. I usually use them for like holiday. You know, if, if I go on holiday, like when I went to Australia and when we go camping and things like that. I've usually got a journal for every every holiday right let's fold that oh that's better oh no it's not because it's not let's bring you in move you out fold you over oh that's better i'm just gonna put that down and come down again I'm not very close to the edge there, am I? Let's just do another stitch over there. I haven't actually come through on the other side. So, ah, uh, it's a little bit, little bit dodgy. So I know this is one of the long ones, but I hope you've, I hope you've been stitching along. And I've been keeping your company while you've been stitching with me, with me chatter. Right, it's gone. I should have put the pins in to hold this down, really. I'm just trying to keep it straight. That was my plan at the beginning. I do want to say thank you to everybody, all my new subscribers. Your names will have been flashing across somewhere in this video when I edit it. <laughs> I usually get to the end and go, I forgot again. I have a list ready of all my new subscribers. And then I edit the video and upload it. And then I go, oh, I forgot to add them again. <gasps> but I'm going to do this Easter one. So hopefully um, this will be out before... Before the ones I've edited and gone, oh no. 
I do hope that you were, uh, you know, join in all the comments. We're a very friendly bunch. And if I call you a wonky stitcher, it's not an insult. We don't like to do anything really perfect. We're not that sort of stitching channel. There are lots of them out there with real experts. Um, I'm not one. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I just do stitching because I love it. I am very new at it. Um, and I am... I'd started doing Roxy's Journal of Stitchery when it first started a couple of few years ago, however many years it's been going, and realised that I quite liked it and started stitching. And it was going so well on my other channel. And I kept getting comments saying, you know, it needs, you need to, um, we can't find you stitching. It's getting lost with all the junk journals. So I made this decision to start a new channel for just my stitching. And this is it. And now I feel like I can just do whatever stitching I want to do without any sort of pressure for perfection. That's, that's what I like. I like to just enjoy it. And I hope that that's what you've come here for. Because, you know, if you don't enjoy it, what's the point? What's the point, guys? I have got to thread my needle just to tie the knot now. <laughs> that happens a lot. So because you're new, I've just better tell you that bit. I do usually thread all my needles before I start. But I do have to re-thread a few times. Right, so we are going to tie this off like this <laughs> she says oh yeah let's make a right mess of this right and like that and I'll get the pins out and then it's just a case now of gluing it to my journal cover let's take these out I have to keep everything safe because you know we have Snowbell who Likes to jump up here occasionally. Just occasionally. I know I should have started Easter a bit higher up. It got a bit squashed. But, you know, we're wonky. I'm going to glue that onto there. And I think it's simple. And it's took me an afternoon. And I'm quite happy with that. So thank you for watching. And for listening. While I waffle. I hope you've been enjoying yourself doing your own stitching and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.